Hi everyone, uh, welcome to your guide to Ask and Brian College. Uh, my name is Callum uh, and I work for the college as part of our student recruitment team. Um, I'm really good but we can't quite welcome you onto campus yet, but hopefully this will give you a really good flavour of our unique land-based offer. Um, as you can probably tell from the four photos I've selected and put up here, uh, we're not your typical general further education college, uh, but instead we specialise from looking beyond the classroom, often to nature, uh, the outdoors and wildlife, to form our unique land-based course offer. Okay, um, so who are we? So we are the UK's largest specialised land-based college, um, and that's a lot of words for essentially saying that we attract students who are more practically focused, want to pursue more vocational learning, and are keen to study, as I said, from beyond the classroom. Um, it's important for us to note initially that although we do have six locations across the north of England, in principle, we are planning to close our Newton Rigg campus in Penrith uh, for further education teaching from July 2021. Uh, and more information about that can be found on our website. But to continue, um, we're not the biggest college in terms of student numbers, uh, as we pride ourselves on small class sizes and personalised learning. Uh, but we do operate across a huge amount of land as a, as a land-based college even. Um, so that's to incorporate everything from our farms uh, through to our animal units, to our engineering and motorsport workshops. So sort of huge areas of land that we work on. Um, and at our York and our Penrith campuses that I've put at the, at the bottom there, uh, we do have a residential offer as well uh, where students can come and stay with us. Uh, and that really gives you the chance to sort of experience the independence and perhaps gain a taste for university life. Okay, so what about the courses we offer? Um, so we have programmes that accommodate for a whole range of levels. Um, the vast majority of our students will be on our, either our apprenticeship or our full-time level two and level three courses. But we also have some entry level and level one courses for those who found GCSEs particularly difficult. Um, so as a land-based college, you would expect us to run courses like agriculture and animal management. However, there's some that might be completely new to you. Um, so horticulture, perhaps, motorsport, land and wildlife. Um, and I imagine that, for me anyway, uh, one of these courses might just intrigue you, it might excite you, it might just be com something completely new to you, and it's definitely worth pursuing that interest more. Um, I just thought I'd make a point about sort of stating my route to Ask and Brian. Uh, so I joined our recruitment team right after I finished university at the University of York. Uh, not only did I want to stay in York, as it's a fantastic place to live and to study for anyone looking at our York campus, um, but also I think sort of the college, uh, the college offer and our land based offer is something that everyone should be made aware of. Um, the vocational qualifications that we offer in the land based industry um, can often be overlooked by students after their GCSEs. And I think it's definitely important you choose the right option for you. Um, and I know that something that was more practical, uh, sort of often outside of the classroom and sort of hands on learning would have definitely appealed to me uh, when I was considering my options. Just quickly then, uh, there's grades that you need for these courses. Um, so our entry level and level one courses are sort of assessed on a case by case basis. Um, and then for our level two courses, it is four GCSEs at grade three. And for our level three courses, four GCSEs at grade four. And the most crucial thing there is getting that English and maths, ideally if you can, towards a grade four, but we do offer some, some opportunity for students to retake those with us. Uh, we recognise that the current situation might concern some students uh, and I do encourage you just to get in touch with us if you are unsure uh, and I will sort of uh, signpost you even towards our inquiries email that I've got at the end of this slideshow. Uh, but we are determined as a recruitment team that no student will be affected uh, in their transition from school either to Ask and Brian College student. Not only then do we have our apprenticeship programme and our full-time programme running to level three, but we actually also offer some university courses through our university centre. Um, so it's great for us to be able to offer that progression from college study all the way through to university study as well. Okay, so at the moment we have six campuses across the north of England, uh, but do note again that in principle uh, we are planning to close our Newton Rigg campus from July 2021. But nevertheless, at the minute, our York and our Newton Rigg campus in Penrith um, offer the full programme of land-based uh, studies. Uh, we then have another main campus up at Middlesbrough at Stewart Park uh, that focuses on animal management, equine and foundation learning. And we then have three specialist campuses. Um, so one at Saltaire in Bradford, uh, where we teach some of our animal management programmes. One at Wakefield, where we teach animal management and equine. And then we have a specialist veterinary nursing unit at Gateshead in Newcastle. So just really quickly then to recap with regards to our Newton Rigg campus. 
Um, so following the independent review uh, that was taken by the Further Education Commissioner, um, the campus in principle will be closed uh, for further education teaching from July 2021. Uh, but all courses uh, for this academic year are continuing as planned. Okay, transport. Um, so we offer transport support, that took a lot of saying, um, to all of our campuses and for all of our students who are holding offers with us. Uh, and I know that puts a lot of people at ease. Uh, students usually apply sort of around May time for transport. Um, and I know that can be a real sort of concern of people getting to and from campus. Um, we pick up from far and wide. Uh, so do check out on our website sort of what the best route might be for you. Uh, and transport is currently free with us, uh, but that is subject to, to a yearly review. Okay, as these bounce in, there we go. Um, I sort of covered this a second ago, uh, but my main piece of advice beyond getting those English and Maths sort of grade fours, if you can, um, is to pursue something that you really genuinely enjoy and that excites you. Um, and, you know, I sort of realised, as I familiarised myself with our current students, uh, that these were students who were sort of genuinely excited to study something that was probably already a hobby or an interest of theirs. And they then took that to begin their career journey to their future, basically. Um, at the risk of your teachers perhaps muting me at this point, you have had limited amount of choice within your education so far, and your next steps beyond the GCSEs are what you can control to make a choice that's right for you. Okay, but enough from me for a second. Uh, what about what our students have to say about us? Um, so at the top right there, we've got Kieran, who's one of our student ambassadors. Uh, and Kieran and sort of other students that I spoke to uh, mentioned firstly, uh, the opportunity to learn sort of within and outside of the classroom. So all of our courses have a mix of theory and practical at the heart of them. Secondly, uh, the opportunity to gain experience that's directly related uh, to a role within the industry that you're perhaps looking at. Some then commented on the opportunity to meet new people. So it's not just about sort of making sure we educate you to the highest possible standard, but we also want you to really enjoy your time here and meet new people and make sort of friends for life through, through the college and our university centre as well. Um, and I mentioned that we are a small college uh, with the sort of personalised learning that we offer. Um, and it's frankly a brilliant place to come and study with our sort of nature and outdoors focused. It's really calm and just sort of an amazing place to come and study and for me to work as well. Uh, and finally then, I think this is just great personally. Um, we have students who join us as school leavers uh, and some continue through our college courses right the way through our university centre too and leave us sort of as graduates as well and graduate in the Minster, which is fantastic. Okay, this does bring me nicely onto our university centre, which is based down at York, as I mentioned. Um, they specialise in the six areas that you can see here, so there is some crossover with what we do at college. Um, so our university centre students benefit from the exact same facilities as our college students. Uh, and again, it's really great we have that progression there for you. Okay, so our college community. Um, so I often ask our ambassadors sort of what they love about being a student with us. Uh, and almost always they talk about how the smaller numbers, the smaller class sizes, uh, give them a real chance to sort of get to know our staff and our su support community better. Um, we have 96% student satisfaction and we're definitely working on the other 4% as well. Um, we have bursaries and scholarships available to help you perhaps access accommodation, for example. Um, and we are rated outstanding for our care provision and our accommodation. Uh, we then have a range of specialist teams, so in learning support, uh, student support and our employability team, which are sort of there to help make you feel comfortable with us and help you thrive with us as well. Okay, so I mentioned this a second ago. We aren't just about educating you to the highest possible standard in the land-based industry, but we also really want you to enjoy your time with us. Um, so on the right-hand side, just near the top there, you can see our ABC Students' Union logo. Um, so they run a whole host of events throughout the years from what you can see here, so tractor pools, silent discos, uh, Freshers Week. Uh, they also run all of our sports teams and our societies, um, and they uh, run our end-of-year summer ball, which is sort of what everything culminates towards. Okay, so to summarise, uh, what makes us distinctive? Um, so we are a vocational college, uh, which ensures that you are work ready uh, for the industry that you want to go into as you leave us. You are treated as an individual, you are on your individual programme, uh, and you will have an expert-led experience. We have a fantastic apprenticeship programme uh, for those who are interested in sort of doing what we call earning whilst you learn. Um, and I think a real selling point of ours is that all of our courses have integrated work placement hours at the heart of their program. Um, so some students then go on to find employment with their work placement uh, provider, but either way, it's a fantastic experience to gain. Uh, and you do get the exclusive use of some really fantastic facilities. 
Okay, so your next steps with us, <laughs> pardon the pun there. Uh, feel free to follow us, uh, put learning into your nature, uh, and you can keep up to date on all things Ask and Brian through our social media outlets that you can see there. At the very top there, you'll see a link uh, through to our What's On page. Um, so that's usually uh, where we update all of our open events, our taster sessions, which are sort of two-hour sessions where you can actually get hands-on with a subject. Um, obviously, we've had to postpone those for now, but hopefully when we get those back up and running, they are really popular. So do book on and come and see for yourself. I always say that uh, for me, I can always talk and sell you this as such, but actually the real selling point for us is you coming and seeing the really fantastic facilities that we have as a land-based college. For now, however, um, experience us virtually. Um, so we do have all of our course guides, our overview presentations, uh, and some virtual tour footage available via our website. Um, we are still very much welcoming applications for the next academic year, the academic year after that, or whichever one's relevant for you. Um, applying to us, or any other college actually, uh, doesn't commit you to us, but it does mean that you'll get a, an interview from one of our friendly members of, of the curriculum team that you're interested in, who can talk you through the course in more depth. And I mentioned at the start, the best thing you can do is just get in touch if you have any questions following this presentation. Uh, you can do that using the inquiries email at the bottom there. So inquiries at askem-brian.ac.uk. Um, I think I'll leave it there. Um, I hope you've gained a lot of information about sort of what the land-based courses we offer are. And I know it's completely different for a lot of you. Um, hopefully I will see some of you this year or next year, whenever that's relevant for you. Um, and this presentation hopefully has given you a flavour of how learning is in our nature and hopefully it can be in yours too. Um, so thank you very much.